Okay, so welcome back to a new Life is Strange Remastered. Right now, we are on episode 4, The Dark Room. Right now, I am extraordinarily excited about the end of Chaos Theory. We just did, uh, if you guys remember that movie, um, the butterfly effect with the photos. Haven't seen that movie in a while, pretty much showing my age here. <laughs> but, um... So far, I love the game. It's really starting to you know, jumpstart off, and I'm so... I still don't remember everything about this game, but I definitely know this is a really good surprise ending at the end of this episode, and I'm wondering what it is. I am definitely interested in how Polarize is going to play a huge part in the end of this game. I'm really excited about finishing this game soon. I just got to do my editing, and I'll be able to uh, get this out to you guys. So far, the series actually has a few views, and I got two new subscribers, so that's actually really cool. Uh, I am going to actually start streaming soon. Not this game, but some other stuff. Uh, I just want to finish this series up and then try to finish up some other stuff. I have Vampire the Masquerade going out, so... But without further ado, I'm not going to get long-winded or just, you know, talk... I'm going to go ahead and get into the gameplay. Let's go ahead and say thank you, and let's begin. It is very strange without music. <laughs> so I'm wondering how this happened. Dead whales, Chloe in the wheelchair? That's pretty large uh, plot development. It's... Weird, hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. 
My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. So I'm assuming... Well, I did go back and I actually watched my recording. I didn't notice she actually did get a car. I saw her with car keys, so... Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Wait, so Rachel's still missing? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. So hold on a second. This is interesting. Rachel Amber still disappears in this world, so that means that Chloe's interference or her friendship wasn't the cause at all. So it had to be something besides her or somebody else. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So this is definitely an interesting development. I'm still wondering like how all this fits together. There goes that lighthouse again. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? All right. Let's, um, first off, let's... Oh, wow, so all this is actually blacked out, too. All right, um, optional photos. I guess I can try to do these. Okay. Oh, 
the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The snow globes are taking over. Hmm. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. It's definitely weird. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Maybe I can use that to go back in the past. I don't know. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I'm glad you think so. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Hmm. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Uh, control joystick. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday, you know. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? You have me. Yeah. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean... Are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, wow. Um, hold on. Nothing but medical supplies. Uh, 
It's like we're just looking for... She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Wow, I had no idea. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Hmm. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Yeah, a lot of this stuff. No more bongs for her. Oh, dang, my bad. Yeah, I know for a fact that that stuff costs a lot of money. Hmm. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. Hmm. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Ow. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Well, hmm. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. It's amazing how one little thing can legit cause such chaos. Ah, here's the DVD. Okay. Before that, let me just do this. Let me just search around more. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. With pirate power. Wow. Hmm. Oh man, let me look this. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Looks like a window. I can't tell. Alright, well, anyway. Uh, drawer. Let's just look around. Maybe we can find some clues. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. So when her father died, she was just completely just. She just didn't care. But when her father was alive, she was doing really good in school. Okay. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Wow. So. Okay. That's really shitty. Yeah, I did actually. I forgot to make an intro. I did make an intro on the. um. Pick, uh, on, on the certain part of the last videos I've uploaded. I went back and I made a choice of taking the money. I figured. Well, I. Actually, I cheated a little bit. I actually did look up one hint because it was driving me nuts. Like, handicap fun? Because I was like, this sounds more like a bribe than anything else. And I just kind of like decided that I want to look up to see what the, you know, actual, legit, like, you know. Hold on, let me see this one. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Hmm. But yeah, I, I wanted to see if that was actually real, and it turns out that it's better to take the money. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Hmm. Alright, so... Don't see anything else. Hold on, bathroom? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. DVD player. I mean, I haven't seen Blade Runner in a while.
<laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. All right. Man, all right, let's, uh, wow. Uh, open. Hmm. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Eight thousand dollars? Are you kidding me? And if that's a monthly thing, that's yeah, that's a that's a pretty penny. Bonjour. That's great. They finally went to Paris. Hmm? I wonder. Hold on, what's this? Huh. Wow, so... Hold on, Alyssa. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Still kill the planet in this universe, I bet. Wow, but she is de definitely a different person. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Paris trip. Okay. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Mm. Joyce? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. 
Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Hmm. Crazy weather, Prescott family, or... Yeah, Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> At least he's optimistic. That's something. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Man, I know the feeling. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Man, yeah, that's insane. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Hmm. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. I think she's the key. She seems to be the main character. Definitely. Well, uh, at least somewhat a main character. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Butterfly effect. Uh, let's see. Phone, look. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choice is a food coupon boss. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Can we go in the garage? Nope. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Uh, they're trying to save money. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Wow, $1,250 a week. Goodness gracious. I mean, they were pretty much in debt before. Now it's like a thousand times worse. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay. 
isn't it? Price is soon to can't win for losing. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Hmm. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. So I wonder who caused the accident. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dorothy. Hmm. All right, poster. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Hmm. Older I get, the worse I get, in my opinion, toward like coincidences. I never heard much about William's brother. Hmm. Yeah, there are no coincidences. Uh, let's see here. Um, works piling up. I've been sent to Salt Lake City. Uh, hmm. It's like he tried to help. I guess we stopped growing up together. Damn. All right. Uh, closet. At least we never had to hide from Step Douche. Pretty sure Step Douche would be. Uh, <laughs> recommendable now. Alright, uh, doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So much has changed. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to go back or if we're just stuck in this particular dimension. Or time. I'm not sure how that really works, really. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Nothing here. Hmm. Cabinet? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Oh, let's turn this off. I already hear people in the comments going, electricity cost. <laughs> oh, choice. Someone in here. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Wow, okay. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. So it looks like she's not going to make it even with all this debt they're incurring. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Hmm. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Dr. Bill. <laughs> All right, let's see here. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. It's probably she'll mind me. Joyce is already a super mom. It's <laughs> probably she'll mind me snooping. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. 
Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Hmm, let's see, um, Joyce? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Hmm. So even Nathan in this reality is still dick. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. <sighs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... she... Do you know what I'm saying? Choice. <sighs> I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. All this for just keys, man. That's why you can't change your mistakes. Oh, it was actually her mistake to fix. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Guess we'll go back to her. I didn't see any pictures we could take. Probably missed a whole bunch. Truth be told. Um. I don't think we can go outside, can we? Oh, we can go outside. Never mind. Dead birds. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of... I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. Hmm. 
I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. Well, all right, let's continue on without no use in delaying the inevitable. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Hmm. Alright. Yo, maybe we can actually change the future again. Maybe we can just go back in time. Maybe to before we even did this. I'm glad I took this photo. Alright. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Hmm. Alright, turn page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Man, goodness gracious, I don't know. Shit. Um. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I really don't. I really don't want to accept. I mean, she is suffering, but... Let's just say I don't know, because honestly, I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to affect the story. This is really intense. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to 
end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. A man still makes me choose. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, come on. I knew I knew it wasn't gonna let me get off that easy. Okay. Um shit, I don't know. This is actually I love games like this because they make the choices seem so like you feel like you're a part of the actual experience, and that's really good, but it's really, like, soul-crushing. I'm going to refuse. I, I don't truly think it's the right thing to do, even if... I don't know. Uh, shit. All right, you know what? The first decision is usually the right one. Sort of. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Chloe... I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Oh, we're actually going to do it. I'm sorry, William. Okay, so we're doing this again. Alright, hold on. There it is, I got it. Yeah, quicker this time. Yeah, I don't think it was the right decision to do. Maybe. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, pretty. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. It was the right decision, in the end. Shouldn't mess with things you don't understand. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, 
I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.